Are you worth fighting for? My name is Cat Fitzgerald. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the power of self-defense, specifically about empowerment. Our goal is to create not only a sense of confidence, but then to legitimize that confidence. There are all sorts of programs out there, there are all sorts of things that give us a sense of, oh, I can do it, I can do it. But if that's all that it took was a sense of I can do it, or the thought I can do it, then we'd all be millionaires, we'd all be amazing people, and we'd all be doing everything we always wanted to do. Because there are tons of people around us as we've grown up that always say, oh, you can do it, we know you can do it. And we do that for other people. We always say to our friends, oh, you can do it, you should go try it, try it, we know you can accomplish it. And then ironically, for some reason, we don't believe that we can. Self-empowerment is actually the only way to elicit true change. The Zen Buddha saying about true change has to come from within is absolutely true. It's the only way we can actually have our external reality be expressed through our internal reality. That includes weapons, that includes tools. If it's not an expression of our internal reality, then it's only a facade and it's a very easily breakable shell. We want to not only as students and participants, but as instructors help our students and participants recognize their own true voice. Like I said, we all come from a different background. We have people that are pacifists, we have people that are more proactive, we have all these different elements, all these different goals in life. But the one thing that they all have in common is if we're speaking from our own true voice, our own real center. So, self-defense is one aspect, one way to train that voice from inside. Self-defense is important in that aspect because we need to make sure that we can get back to the different areas that we want to go to in order to train. And sometimes those paths are a little bit rougher than others, so we need to be able to ensure that we can get there to train. Then we want to bring all those individual voices together. So we train our own individual voice, we find it. Then we bring those other voices together and we form a chorus. We sing with our friends, we get them together. By doing that, then we use that chorus, that group of people that all have their voice, that all have that warrior spirit, that, in, that true internal indomitable spirit, and we use that to combat rape culture and other human rights abuses. From there, we can turn that entire organization, we can turn that entire voice, that chorus, into developing personal and cultural proactive mindsets so we can actually accomplish things, so we can move forward not only as individuals but as a culture, as an environment, as a society. And the idea then is to create a dialogue for harmony, not to be reactive, not to be reactionary, but to learn how to respond and to learn how to set forward a goal and to learn how to be harmonious. All this can only be achieved through our own voice, learning our own voice and getting that strengthened. And we do that, find that inner strength through self-empowerment. Thank you.